Welcome back, everyone. Equifax reported that cyber criminals hacked in and accessed the records of 143 million people, about so half bad. the U.S. population, stealing information that includes names, social security numbers, birth dates, mm -hmm. addresses, numbers of driver's licenses in some cases. Yikes. Here to talk with us about how Equifax customers can protect themselves is Stan Prager from Go Geeks. Hey, Stan. Hi. So I had planned actually on having a very kind of positive up You say show. this every week. I know. I didn't right. want to be Dr. Doom this week, but yeah. boy, this has been in the news heavily, and I thought that we really need and to focus on this. So. This yeah. is huge. This is really, really big. And uh, so first of all, a lot of people don't even know what Equifax is. Mm -hmm. They think, well, I don't have Equifax. I don't need, but everyone. And that's kind of the irony in this whole thing. Explain what Equifax is. Okay. So there's three major credit reporting agencies in the country. Equifax is one of them. There's also TransUnion and Experian, okay? If you are an adult and you have not been living under a park bench, you have an Equifax file. So there's an Equifax oh. file right now for Chris Pisano, for Brit, for me, for everyone, essentially. And when you go to apply for a credit card or a car loan or a mortgage or anything, any financial transaction, they're going to consult, the financial institutions are going to consult your credit record with Experian and with Equifax and with TransUnion. So this is a big deal, okay? Yeah. So, you know, we don't know for one of those 143 million people that got hacked, but, you know, a fraud analyst said that on a scale of 1 to 10, this is a 10 oh, from boy. a risk factor, uh, okay? And the, the irony, at least what I find perversely humorous, is the fact that these are the companies that are holding our credit score that affects whether we get, loan, get loans. Mm -hmm. And now it's these very companies, or this company in this case, that will now affect the credit score adversely if somebody assumes our identity. Exactly. I mean, it really, it really raises uh, some eyebrows here in a major way. And, and I think a lot of people are angry, and I think you should be angry. Because if you have a data breach from a credit card for, let's say, I don't want to pick on them, but let's say Macy's, which got hit at one point, right? So you could say, all right, well, you know, they don't have very good cybersecurity. I'm not going to have a Macy's credit card anymore, yeah. okay? But n none of us were no given choice. a choice about having a file with Equifax, mm -hmm. okay? Right. That's just automatic. We didn't apply for Equifax. We didn't ask for right. this, okay? And they also have a tremendous amount more information than any single credit card company would have on you. Like, they have your entire profile. They have everything, like any yes. credit card you've ever applied mm -hmm. for since 1972. They Where's have a record the hope? Of what do we do now? Right. Okay. The right. the so, the yeah. I, I'm not sure if there is a whole lot of hope, but there oh, are no. things that you can do. Okay, yes. I can't say a whole lot to make you feel better. Uh, they've already announced they're not going to contact people individually who've been, who've been hacked. But what they are offering is a free credit check for and credit year. monitoring for one year, yeah. you go to uh, um, uh, Equifax.com, www.equifax.com, and there's directions there on how to sign up, and you have till the end of November to sign up to get this, okay? So that's one thing that you, that you want to do. The other thing that you want to do, I think, is monitor your credit card statements mm -hmm. and any financial transactions, bank statements, over the next several bank months, statements. just to make sure nothing crazy sneaks up on you. Do you use people, Equifax to do that? Uh, I would not no. do that. I would, look <laughs> at your actual credit, no, I would look at your actual credit okay. card statements that okay. you get, okay? And and then finally, you know, we talk about passwords a mm -hmm. lot, okay? But change in this them. particular case, absolutely, absolutely, Britt. Change, Brit, change okay. your passwords. Everyone should change all their financial passwords for their credit cards, for their mm -hmm. online banking, for PayPal, for anything like that, just to be safe. All right. All right, Stan, Stan thanks Gotta so much. go. We will be right back.